show you how to use rinseless shampoos. We've gotten a lot of questions about various types of rinseless shampoos. We have um, quite a few to show you. We're going to be going over how we remove pee stains and how we clean feet. And um, there's a whole line of rinseless shampoos that are really great. And um, I think some companies call them waterless. But the, essentially, they're diluted shampoo solutions that you can spray on to remove urine stains, to clean feet, to spot clean, um, to wash the face, and you don't need to technically rinse them off. So we're going to show you. Um, Dolce is quite the mess. She hasn't been bathed now. It's been about two weeks. So she's kind of a mess, and we're, we're changing the amount of hair that we put in our top knot and she's kind of grumpy. But grumpy or not, we're going to show you how we get rid of pee stains. Dolce is quite the diva. For those of you that have been following us, you know that she is the diva. She is one of the only dogs that I know that does not clean herself after she pees. So she'll pee and she'll squat and for some reason, even though I shave the inside of her legs, she gets pee on the inside of her legs here. Is that in focus? Mm -hmm. And so what we do at night um, during her nightly brush outs is we won't necessarily always um, do a full grooming on her. We'll just, we do want to get rid of this pee. I have allergies um, and um, the allergies flare up if the dogs are not kept clean. So we shave the inside but despite all of that she gets pee. So what I like to use for pee stains, there's two that I really like to use. The one is the Pure Paws No Rinse Express. It is a rinseless and it is really fantastic for eliminating urine stains. One of the big differences between these two that I like to use for pee stains is the Pure Paws um, uh, does eliminate the urine smell. The Show Off is better at um, whitening when you spray and there's no odor to show off so if you're sensitive to certain types of odors perfumes that are put in shampoos then show off is really great because it doesn't have an odor to it and this is Chris Christensen another one that um, our friends Bailey and Georgie's mom turned us on to is the OC Magic oh is it in focus? Mm -hmm. Okay, the OC Magic Foam and this is also rinseless and it does not have an odor to it. So if you're looking for a rinseless shampoo that doesn't have an odor, I would use the CC Show Off or the CC Magic Foam. Um, I personally really enjoy using the Pure Paws for pee stains because it also is an odor eliminator. So to show you how we use it, we will just spray it on here all the pee stains and um, I'll use a microfiber cloth or you can use a tissue and I'll just clean it off and the nice thing about this is that not only do you eliminate the pee stains but you eliminate the, um, the urine smell and because I have allergies it's real important to get rid of this urine smell every night and don't choose the only one I need to do this for. And then after you clean it off, you can see here the yellow. I don't know how much of the yellow really showed, um, but all the yellow has come out. And then I'll just brush it out or comb it out. Um, for feet, what I will do is after a walk, and so sometimes she also, you can see here, she stepped on some urine. Um, She's real naughty that way, such the diva, and she's not enjoying having her, her, her rear end in the camera, so poor Dolce, just bear with us for a minute. But she does step on pee, so you can see she has some pee stains here, and what I will do is I will lift her feet up, and um, I'll show you how the show-off looks. And show-off is really great. The blue is a color enhancing, so by dropping blue into the yellow, it does help with whitening. And I'll spray some of it on here. And then I'll rub it up. 
And I would do the same thing if she, had she gone for a walk. I'll just rub it in. And here on some of the urine stains, I'll rub it in. She's real dirty. This is the end of the day. We're getting ready to go to bed. So I don't want all this in my bed. So I want to wipe it off. Oops. And so I'll, what I'll do is I'll take a microfiber and because it's rinseless, I'll soak it all up after I've rubbed it in. And um, you can see some of the blue that drops into the coat. Um, this Chris Christensen Show Off is, um, it's nice too because it doesn't smell. But I, I don't feel that it gets rid of the odor of urine as good as the Pure Paws. But it does do a good job of instantly whitening. Um, whitening the coat. So after you do that, what you'll want to do is you'll want to just comb it out. And um, the other thing that's really good is this is her remnants of her face where she has eaten. And another um, good rinseless that uh, is good to use on the face is the OC Magic Foam. And what's unique about this is that it's like a foaming gel. And so you'll squirt some of this out, and this is her food dinner that's left on her face. And it's really convenient. And Bailey and Georgie's mommy told us about this. And um, there's no odor to it. And so you can use this to just kind of a lazy way to wash the face. So I'll put the foam on here and I'll rub it in and clean off dinner. She had uh, ground beef and peas and carrots and gravy and it gets all over her muzzle. So we'll do that. We'll take a clean cloth and we'll just wipe it off. And it's kind of a cheating way but it's um it gets kind of the gravy and the smell. Shh. It gets the gravy smell out of her muzzle. And it gets um, kind of the stickiness out of the muzzle too. So this show off is, I mean, the OC Magic Foam has no odor to it. So it's a really easy way to cheat and a great way to use um, a rinseless shampoo. Now, um, this morning, Dolce vomited, um, and it's really interesting how they come to you and they vomit at your feet. So she threw up, she wasn't feeling good, and the smell of throw up can be very potent. So if I don't have a chance to wash her face, then I will use the OC Magic Foam and wash some of the vomit, the yellow, off of it. You don't want to leave it on the face because it'll stain. But um, afterwards, I will follow up with the Pure Paws and I will squirt some into my hand. I'll squirt it into my hand because it's a spray. And I'll spray it in my hand. And because it has an odor eliminator, I'll actually rub it in her muzzle here like this. And the reason why I do that is because it really works great in eliminating uh, the the bark smell, which is really putrid, and so um, I'll clean it first with this, and then I'll put some of this on here, because this is what will kill the um, vomit smell or urine smell. So there's some really good choices um, in using rinseless. There's an odor eliminator and a very quick cleanup for the feed or urine or the muzzle. Um, this isn't very conducive to using on the muzzle because it's a spray, but um, the OC Magic Foam is really great because you can just foam it out and use it right on the muzzle. And if you wa I wanted to, I can put it on the feet too. And just if I wanted to clean the feet, I could do that as well and just rub it on her feet and then clean it afterwards with the towel. So the Magic Foam is very good for multiple uses. And then for another alternative, there is a Proline Self Rinse. And Chris Christensen purchased Proline, I believe. They do sell the Proline. You can get it on Amazon, but you can also get it through the Chris Christensen um, website. And this does have an odor. It has kind of an unpleasant odor to it. I don't 
personally enjoy using this Proline self rinse at all. So um, I wouldn't. It is less expensive. I wouldn't recommend it as my first choice and I don't really use it but um, if you want to use it just for the feet and have a bottle of this in the garage so after a walk especially a, a muddy rainy walk you can just spray the feet and wipe the feet off with this but um, I'm not pleased with the fact that this, this has an unpleasant odor um, the show off is probably much better or not probably but it is much better and because it has no unpleasant odor I tend to grab for this a lot so um, I would recommend the show off and the OC magic foam has no odor and so it's a really great alternative and the ease of use just can't be beat um, and then for odor elimination to say bye bye to the urine stains and to get rid of barf smells or any kind of odor actually um, the no rinse is really fantastic for using on urine stains. Another use for this is in the bath when I bathe the dogs, I shampoo them once and then I shampoo them again with another product and then with the second shampoo on I will literally spray the dog with this no rinse in the bath and the reason for that is it does a really fantastic job of getting rid of doggy smell and um, our family is very happy that the dogs don't smell like dogs. They smell really clean um, and it's mostly for allergy purposes because of my intense allergies. So that's this is really good too as kind of a, a second or third spray to get rid of doggy smells when you're bathing them. And um, so this would be my go-to rinseless shampoo but um, I have to say I'm real um, often grabbing for these three um, as my top rinseless shampoos. There's lots of other rinselesses out there. You can essentially make your own rinseless shampoo um, by just diluting um, one of your favorite dog shampoos. Um, like I said, I think this is a diluted version of the white on white or a formulation in the same family of the white on white. Or you can get a foaming um, bottle from Bed Bath & Beyond, one of those used ones, and you can dilute one of your favorite shampoos. And don't be afraid to make your own if you don't want to pay to purchase. But these are professional lines. They're guaranteed to work on your dogs, and I'm real happy with them. So um, very effective way to use Rinseless. And that's it. <coughs> and then I shampoo them again with another product and then with the second shampoo on I will literally spray the dog with the snow rinse in the bath and the reason for that is it does a really fantastic job of getting rid of doggy smell and um, our family is very 
happy that the dogs don't smell like dogs. They smell really clean, um, and it's mostly for allergy purposes because of my intense allergies. So that's this is really good too as kind of a, a second or third spray to get rid of doggy smells when you're bathing them. And um, so this would be my go-to rinseless shampoo, but um, I have to say I'm real um, often grabbing for these three um, as my top rinseless shampoos. There's lots of other rinselesses out there. You can essentially make your own rinseless shampoo um, by just diluting um, one of your favorite dog shampoos. Um, like I said, I think this is a diluted version of the white on white or a formulation in the same family of the white and white. Or you can get a foaming um, bottle from Bed Bath & Beyond, one of those used ones, and you can dilute one of your favorite shampoos. And don't be afraid to make your own if you don't want to pay to purchase. But these are professional lines. They're guaranteed to work on your dogs, and I'm real happy with them. So um, very effective way to use rinseless. And that's it. <coughs> an odor. Um, the show off is probably much better, or not probably, but it is much better. And because it has no unpleasant odor, I tend to grab for this a lot. So um, I would recommend the show off. And the OC Magic Foam has no odor, and so it's a really great alternative. And the ease of use just can't be beat. Um, and then for odor elimination, to say bye-bye to the urine stains, and to get rid of barf smells or any kind of odor actually, um, the no rinse is really fantastic for using on urine stains. Another use for this is in the bath when I bathe the dogs, I shampoo them once and then I shampoo them again with another product. And then with the second shampoo on, I will literally spray the dog with this no rinse in the bath. And the reason for that is it does a really fantastic job of getting rid of doggy smell. And um, our family is very happy that the dogs don't smell like dogs. They smell really clean. Um, and it's mostly for allergy purposes because of my intense allergies. So that's this is really good too as kind of a, a second or third spray to get rid of doggy smells when you're bathing them. And um, so this would be my go-to rinseless shampoo, but um, I have to say I'm real um, often grabbing for these three um, as my top rinseless shampoos. There's lots of other rinselesses out there. You can essentially make your own rinseless shampoo um, by just diluting um, one of your favorite dog shampoos. Um, like I said, I think this is a diluted version of the white on white or a formulation in the same family of the white and white. Or you can get a foaming um, bottle from Bed Bath & Beyond, one of those used ones, and you can dilute one of your favorite shampoos. And don't be afraid to make your own if you don't want to pay to purchase. But these are professional lines. They're guaranteed to work on your dogs, and I'm real happy with them. So um, very effective way to use rinseless. And that's it. <coughs>
It is a rinseless and it is really fantastic for eliminating urine stains. One of the big differences between these two that I like to use for pee stains is the Pure Paws um, uh, does eliminate the urine smell. The Show Off is better at um, whitening when you spray and there's no odor to show off so if you're sensitive to certain types of odors perfumes that are put in shampoos then show off is really great because it doesn't have an odor to it and this is Chris Christensen another one that um, our friends Bailey and Georgie's mom turned us on to is the OC Magic oh is it in focus? Mm -hmm. Okay, the OC Magic Foam and this is also rinseless and it does not have an odor to it. So if you're looking for a rinseless shampoo that doesn't have an odor, I would use the CC Show Off or the CC Magic Foam. Um, I personally really enjoy using the Pure Paws for pee stains because it also is an odor eliminator. So to show you how we use it, we will just spray it on here all the pea stains and um, I'll use a microfiber cloth or you can use a tissue and I'll just clean it off and the nice thing about this is that not only do you eliminate the pea stains but you eliminate the, um, the urine smell and because I have allergies it's real important to get rid of this urine smell every night and don't choose the only one I need to do this for. And then after you clean it off, you can see here the yellow. I don't know how much of the yellow really showed, um, but all the yellow has come out. And then I'll just brush it out or comb it out. Um, for feet, what I will do is after a walk, and so sometimes she also, you can see here, she stepped on some urine. Um, She's real naughty that way, such the diva. And she's not enjoying having her, her, her rear end in the camera. So poor Dolce, just bear with us for a minute. But she does step on pee, so you can see she has some pee stains here. And what I will do is I will lift her feet up and um, I'll show you how the show off looks. And show off is really great. The blue is a color enhancing, so by dropping blue into the yellow, it does help with whitening. And I'll spray some of it on here, and then I'll rub it up. And I would do the same thing if she, had she gone for a walk. I'll just rub it in, and here on some of the urine stains, I'll rub it in. Beat. Um, and then for odor elimination, to say bye bye to the urine stains, and to get rid of barf smells or any kind of odor, actually, um, the no rinse is really fantastic for using on urine stains. Another use for this is in the bath when I bathe the dogs, I shampoo them once and then I shampoo them again with another product. And then with the second shampoo on, I will literally spray the dog with the snow rinse in the bath. And the reason for that is it does a really fantastic job of getting rid of doggy smell and um, our family is very happy that the dogs don't smell like dogs. They smell really clean um, and it's mostly for allergy purposes because of my intense allergies. So that's this is really good too as kind of a, a second or third spray to get rid of doggy smells when you're bathing them. And um, so this would be my go-to rinseless shampoo but um, I have to say I'm real um, often grabbing for these three um, as my top rinseless shampoos. There's lots of other rinselesses out there. You can essentially make your own rinseless shampoo, 
um, by just diluting um, one of your favorite dog shampoos. Um, like I said, I think this is a diluted version of the white on white or a formulation in the same family of the white and white. Or you can get a foaming um, bottle from Bed Bath & Beyond, one of those used ones, and you can dilute one of your favorite shampoos. And don't be afraid to make your own if you don't want to pay to purchase. But these are professional lines. They're guaranteed to work on your dogs, and I'm real happy with them. So um, very effective way to use rinseless. And that's it. <coughs>